Hello all, in this video I will show you how to perform ANOVA. First let me open the data set. Now I am going to consider this gender as a grouping variable. So let me make it as a factor and I am going to link this gender with work family balance. So basically I am trying to understand are there any mean differences or group differences with respect to gender and their work family balance scores. So in order to do this you go to analysis and then click means here you select this ANOVA multi way you include the gender in the factor so here the limitation is maximum you can include only two factors if you want to include more factors you can use this R script I mean R editor in terms of running the analysis um, and then the target variable is work family balance in the options you can uh, you can select the post hoc analysis if you want to do, do it. If you want to test the homogeneity of variances, you can select this Levens test for homogeneity of variances. And then um, here uh, there are different methods are available in terms of adjusting for p values in the post hoc uh, uh, analysis. Since I have only two groups, it doesn't matter whether I use this uh, post hoc method and so on. So, this is a way how you can also select some of the options available here. With respect to fx size, uh, one of the preferred method is uh, this partial eta square. Let me select this. Kogan's f also you can select. And then click dialog. Execute dialog. So here you will be able to get the output. So here is my summary statistics. That is mean and standard deviation median values for uh, each and every groups with respect to work family balance code that is available. And in the overall ANOVA table, you can see the mean difference basically. So yes, I could see some significant p-value here uh, because p-value is less than 0 0.01 uh, at a 99 percent conference limit. This is, I mean, there exists a mean difference be between male and female in terms of their uh, work family balance score. So this is how you can conclude this uh, analysis result. And this Levens test is also um, significant basically here. And uh, this contrast, post hoc test contrast is nothing but um, if you have more than two groups, this will make sense to you. Otherwise, this result as well as this overall ANOVA table result, both are almost the same only. So, this is a way how you can run the ANOVA analysis using blue sky statistics. Thanks for watching this video.